Hello everybody and welcome back, C Ray Tech here. And I've got a quick little tip video, or uh, project video for that matter. Um, I had a extra Wi-Fi FPV camera laying around and I wanted to be able to attach it to some of my other fun little toys that I have. So I'm going to show you how you can power um, with a camera just with kind of some stuff you have lying around. Um, I had an extra battery, some extra connectors, so I decided to throw something together and um, it seems to work pretty good so far. I haven't had any problems and I've been able to actually make some things that weren't FPV, FPV now. So to start, what I have here is a Wi-Fi FPV camera. Um, I cannot see there being that much of a difference between a lot of these as far as what you're going to be doing in this guide video anyway. So um, this came off the JJRC H11WH. Um, what I did so far and what I did not film was this is a 5-pin connector and I ended up pulling the positive and negative for the power. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm actually going to wire in a JST connector that I had from a spare battery charger I believe is what what this came from so what I'll do is I'm going to start by putting these together now obviously this would be much better if you were using the same gauge wire um, and if you were able to even solder this JST directly to the board I imagine that would probably be a little bit better as far as how it's going to maybe hold its durability but for just this, just to kind of get your feet wet and see that it's working and be able to play around with it a little bit, this should be sufficient. Anytime I'm playing with electronics or doing anything like this and I don't have a soldering iron, I always like to cut off a bunch of little tiny pieces of electrical tape. This just helps me not fight with a piece of a roll of tape when I'm trying to put these little wires together. So I'm just going to put these together. This is going to be pretty rough. It's not meant to look pretty. It's just meant to show you that it works. So I had this battery. It's a 3.7 volt, uh, 200 milliamp hour battery. This came out of a old cheap SEMA quad that I got forever ago. Um, battery still works, so I figured, hey, why not? Let's use it for this. <coughs> So now what I'm going to do here is the pins on the end of these leads, they're not quite the same size as this, this con the original connector here. So what I ended up doing is I pulled, now, I pulled my positive lead out and I'm going to insert it in here. It's not, it's still, it's still kind of loose, but that's okay. So we'll take our negative out. By doing this, you don't worry about touching the leads on the battery because that's the last thing you want to do. That would be really bad. So we'll plug this in here, just like that. Alright, so what you're looking for is, you're, and another thing to note, it's really important. Is that you match your male and female JST connectors so that when you plug these in you've got positive, positive, and negative, and negative. So once we get this in, what I what I do is I'll take a little piece of electrical tape just to kind of secure it so I don't pull these out at any time. This is just going to make sure that these battery leads don't get pulled out. Now you could use hot glue. Um, that would probably be work a lot better. <coughs> so now, let me get a couple things prepared for you guys so you can see. Alright. Let this boot up. Alright. 
So yeah, I've been able to so far use this on my Mini Orion. I have used it on my JJRC, obviously. Um, battery life was about the same. On the Mini Orion, I saw about the same battery life you would see when you had your camera being or on and recording. So, um, I mean, I just think it's been really fun being able to play with these things, and it was a very easy project, and I'm, like I said, I hope this really helps a lot of people. I hope you guys be able to throw something together real quick and have fun just like I did. So what we're going to do is we're going to power this up. Now it might be a little bit tricky getting these to connect, mainly because these connectors aren't held together very well. Looks like I pushed one down, so let's, let's fix that real quick. Yeah, the negative got smashed down. So I think what I'm going to do this time is I'll get it plug together, make sure it works. Well, technical difficulties. <laughs> Alright. Did I mismatch them? Surely did, guys. I did exactly what I told you not to do. So that's okay. Let's pull this positive out. Keep these spread. Switch these around. Now we'll get this plugged in here. We should see some lights. Oh yeah. Not sure if you can see that. Let's get it in there. Alright, so it's turning on. So what we'll do is we'll plug this in. We'll take our piece of tape. Tape these on so that they don't get pulled out, run around. Alright. <clears throat> so, this camera comes with FlyEye software, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get into that and I'm going to show you guys. FPV with this bad boy. Now the range, I really couldn't tell you the range on this. I want to say it's maybe like 20 meters. It's not very far. Maybe 30. Maybe pushing it. Um, I attached this to a couple different things and I definitely went out of range. Lost Wi-Fi connection to my device. So on and so forth. But I will say that it definitely does work. And it works great. And I've not fully tested the FPV with um, or the full length of the battery, but I will say, hey, works pretty good. I should, ooh, should connect it to this guy. Let's see. Let's see if this little, this little guy can move it around. Alright, guys, moment of truth. Can we FPV the mini car? Oh, I think it can be done. <laughs> FPV the mini car. Alright, so the cameras, you can see as big as the car. But hey, it works. I think if I got this battery strapped up here, I could race this thing all around the house. So, um, as you can see, guys, you can make yourselves a little tiny FPV setup that you can use for just about anything, and it will be ugly, but it will work. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Have a good day. 
Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks again. Bye.